people love it. Everyone's like smiling. Yeah. How long were they doing that? Uh, this is like maybe a couple minutes. Ago. <laughs> like we've just been talking. And like, yeah, we're <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the, the tension. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> As you can see, the clouds are so beautiful and pink. I think it's just phenomenal. I, I think this whole world is just incredible and it, there's so much beauty in it. And I just always like to stop and, and enjoy it and appreciate it and, and share it as well. See how nice and pink. As I was walking, I'm gonna sound like a creep, but not really. There was somebody on like a second story um, apartment building and I looked and I saw it was a female with a blank canvas and she was basically painting something and I automatically something came over me like peace and well-being and just like this sense of serenity like just it was just so beautiful to see that and you know the day before I heard somebody practicing guitar right so music or whatever the case may be and even earlier today I looked at somebody's window I'm just really observant guys when I walk I'm always looking around and I saw somebody on email and when I saw somebody on email I didn't necessarily feel the same way I felt when seeing somebody painting or drawing or you know making music Long story short, I think that naturally that's what we are here to do, to create, to be artistic, to let our inner child free. Remember when you were in kindergarten or in pre-K, that's when you did all those things. But now since you grew older, you don't. And I'm just trying to nudge you into maybe going back to those things that you did when you were younger. Okay, so today's topic of conversation is gonna be about Tiger King that everybody binge watch. It's such a crazy show and to me, what really hurt me the most was towards the end how everybody just backstabbed Joe Exotic you know like you knew what you were doing while you were doing it and you try to act as if you know you were pressured into doing things and you didn't have a choice and you were a prisoner to the to the zoo that's all bull crap at the end of the day we're a prisoner to what we allow ourselves to be a prisoner to right and it just hurt me when at the end I saw all those people testify against him, you know, go to court and say, yeah, he was gonna kill her and he was gonna do that and do this. And it just goes to show you that you really have to choose your friends extremely, extremely patiently, right? Don't jump to trust somebody so quickly just because they're nice to you. You have to question what are their ambitions and that doesn't mean that you go through life, you know, not trusting anybody because that's a, that's a difficult task and life isn't worth living when you live like that. But it's just to be really calm and patient and understand who it is that you're allowing into your circle. And yeah, and I think that that lady Carol Basket, whatever her name is, I think she most definitely sold, uh, you know, killed her husband and fed him to her tigers. Okay, so as you know, I bring you somebody brand new every single day so you get to know someone. And this is gonna be for two minutes. And this is a really, really important subject matter and topic that I think a lot of you may not use today, but down the road, feel free to come back to this episode. So without further ado, he's gonna introduce himself. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Anthony. Doing best friends for quite some time now, a really long time. How are you guys doing? Thank you for tuning in and watching us live. Yes, okay. Now, so you are my second guest, Anthony, that's on FaceTime, which is so cool, extremely amazing. And thank you so much for just whenever I brought it up to your attention, you were like, done, let's go do it. You know what I mean? You you made time. And, and now what I think is really important is just like, dude, you brought new life into this world right like come on I did, like I, did. I do have a three a three month old baby home um, and what's her name <laughs> her name is valerie alisa Valle. she oh is my, my daughter God. she was born december 23rd 
uh, one of the biggest blessings that anybody can get uh, and have. Um, and it's fun. It is a roller coaster. It, it's a major roller coaster. It's like a new ride that they open on, on in Six Flags. Like, <laughs> it's like a new ride. You're like, I want to try it, you know, because everybody's like, I want a kid. I want a kid. But, yo. You don't know the struggle. You don't know the ride until you get on that ride. What? How would you explain that ride to somebody who's never had a kid or don't? They they, they can't even fathom what it's like to have a kid. What? How would you summarize it? Well, it is fun. You do have your time when it's fun. But you know, at the beginning stage, you know, in a, in a woman's perspective, you know, I'm talking about my lady. You know, in her case, she gave birth. I was there with her. You know, and the baby's here now. And. The nurse tells you that you gotta feed your baby every two hours. So just imagine in her shoes, you know, I'm helping her out, but imagine her getting up every two hours to feed a baby. And then you gotta put the baby to sleep and so on and so forth. But it, just imagine, you know, they tell you, humans need about eight to 10 hours of sleep or eight hours of sleep, six to eight, or whatever the case may be. But here you are just getting maybe two hours or less, you know, and then, so you put the baby to sleep, the baby goes to sleep, and then you're like, okay, I should go to sleep. But you don't go to sleep because you're like, oh snap, I have to go wash dishes, I have to go do laundry, I also have to do this, I have to do that. So forget about your break, it's all about the baby for the first couple of months. And then you start to feel better and then you have more time for yourself while the baby enjoys her time by herself. But for the most part, it's a, it's a fantastic roller coaster, and I just can't wait until she gets a little bit older so I can have more fun with her. I love that. I love that. Okay, <laughs> now, before we end here, what would you say was or is currently your favorite memory with your daughter, Valerie, so far? So far, um, ever since she was born, I will always say, Daddy, Papi, because I want her to say that first. I don't know why. Yes! Oh, Mothers deserve <laughs> everything. Uh, they deserve everything. But I, I always say daddy, 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 or papi. And now when she wants attention, she'll say daddy, daddy. Like, and it's crazy that it, it sounds very close to daddy. So, you know, that is the most wonderful thing I've experienced so far. And Anthony, you have been the most wonderful experience so far. Thank you so much for sharing that. That was You're huge. Very welcome, brother. Thank that you was for having that me. was amazing. So when Valerie, she's, right now she's three months. So when she's 13 years old, we'll get you back on again and we'll get a, a little uh, follow update. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. And hopefully with that one, then we can post another one in 13 years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Until then. Bye bye. See you, brother.